We spoke with Don Pettit at the Human Research Program workshop a few weeks back. Now in one space shuttle mission and two six-month tours of duty on the space station, totaling 370 days in space, Don Pettit has hand, had his hand in almost every experiment and been a test subject for even more. Today we get his take on the not-so-glamorous but important side of research. We're hearing a lot about what the researchers want, but we're kind of interested in what's it like on the other side of things. They want you guys to volunteer for this research. What's that like? It comes with the job. We're, we're guinea pigs, but that's part of our job. If you want to fly to space station, it's a scientific research lab. You have to expect that you're going to be stuck with needles and, and have instruments taped all over your body and have all different kinds of blood and spit and urine and things like that collected and then after flight there's going to be biopsies, muscle biopsies and, and all kinds of other things like that. And that's just part of the job. But it's for a, a purpose and a it, great cause. It, it is. And you look at what we learned from early transoceanic exploration, uh, vitamin deficiencies, things like that. Crew members didn't necessarily volunteer for these things, but they were very much part of the uh, data collection process that led to the scientific discoveries of vitamins and their impact on your diet. And we're reliving through that era again on space station where you take people and put them in an environment where the magnitude of gravitational forces have been changed by a factor of a million. A factor of a million. Change any other environmental factor by a million and see how long it takes the nematodes to shrivel up and die. And the fact that we can go there and come back basically unscathed is an amazing discovery in itself. But there's all kinds of tertiary things that we are learning about human physiology simply by going there for long periods of time and coming home. And, and we are prying this information literally from the souls of those explorers that go off into the wilderness. And, and this is what's going to give an incredible benefit to all the people on the planet that stay firmly rooted on terra firma. You have not. You've been to Space Station twice. What did you learn physically about yourself and what keeps you coming and being a part of this program? I feel like I was born to live and work in space. It is the environment where I really excel at. And it, it just, it, I, there's just this glow inside of me that is intensified whenever I'm off of the planet. Of the research that, that you performed, I guess, on yourself, others drew blood or whatever, um, was there anything that you've learned from that? There are examples where we're collecting data and any one person's data by itself isn't so significant, but you collect 30 or 40 crew members worth of data over 10 years and now you have a scientific data set. And so there are many examples of that from nutrition experiments that we're doing where we're looking at high sulfur protein versus low sulfur protein on the diet and potential for decalcifying your bones. And then you look at exercise protocols where you try to define a protocol that will do the best job of preserving your body, your physiology, your, your cardiovascular system, your skeletal system with the minimum amount of time and effort put in by the crew members. Uh, so those are two examples. The, the eyeball studies that we're going on now, and, and they, NASA has this acronym called VIP, but what it means is uh, you, your eyeballs go squirrely when you get on orbit. That we have a number of retinal maladies that turn up because you've been on orbit for long periods of time. And we're just now getting to the understanding of what's going on and possibly figuring out uh, how to prevent that. And that knowledge will spin off onto eye health for everybody on planet Earth. And, and it, it will be amazing to see what comes from that. What's next for you? Or do you have an investigation or are you going back? I'm, I'm still an active astronaut 
And so I do all the training, and I check all the boxes needed, and I'm working a ground job dealing with uh, keeping experiments and equipment running on space station. And uh, you know, it doesn't get any better than that.